we're going to build an engine simulation to give this graphical output uh, this is the code that we need these are the instructions that we're going to follow <coughs> and I'll I'm going to take you through it in this in this video number one we start Visual Studio uh, we click on new project click on uh, Windows Forms application specify the name, specify the location we click OK and then we do two things one, add a picture box uh, add a timer and then double click two locations uh, so yeah, let's get started so begin by loading up Visual Studio select new project uh, on the left hand side you need to click Visual C Sharp Windows Desktop Windows Forms Application now here we can name it whatever you want I'm just going to call it Engine Sim the location that's the location everything is saved into that location you can change this you can put it onto your uh, onto your onto a suitable directory in your computer or onto a USB stick or anywhere. It's best not to use the university network drive because it's so slow. Click OK. And it comes up with a form. This is the program that runs. I'm going to run it by pressing the start button. And it's working. And I stop it by pressing the either the stop button here or just close it normally there. Um, make your window bigger. Um, on the left hand side there's a toolbox click on toolbox click that drawing pin to hold it open the drawing pin if you take the drawing pin away it'll close so I put the drawing pin back and these drawing pins are quite useful for giving yourself more space on the screen add a picture box here it is drag it across it's a bit small at the moment, so let's make it a bit bigger. And we need to add a timer. So timer, drag the timer on. And notice you'll see it appear down the bottom. So we're finished with the toolbox. Close the toolbox. Now you need to double click in two places. Um, I said you double click the background of the form not the picture box, the background of the form and then the timer so the background of the form is anywhere here so I'm double clicking here and it creates some code I go back to the design by clicking that tab and now I double click the timer and it creates a bit more code and uh, to switch back to the design you just click that tab but the code now if we run this pressing start run it no, nothing there because we've, we've, we've got the picture box but nothing it doesn't do anything so let's make it do something so stop that um, go back to the code and now we're going to start typing stuff in. To know what to type in, so this is the picture we want to appear in the picture box. We're looking for engine speed being animated uh, and after 10 seconds the fuel's cut off. The code, click on this code here. Um, you might want to zoom in. Um, go to the top and start typing from the from the very top. Um, 
this is the first bit of code we need to type in um, starting bitmap draw area and in Visual Studio it needs to go in here so you just start typing bitmap draw area semicolon every line ends in a semicolon keep typing and I'm just going to skip the next bit and after typing the first bit it should look like that the next bit of code we need goes after this line here so just go to the end of the line put a new line in and start typing so it looks like that so I've just put those two lines inside the form function so far we've typed in the variables which are here and two lines here for the drawing in the picture box. Now we need to type in the bits that go inside the form one load function in here and the bits that go inside the timer, timer one tick, which is the loop. Note that we've got four functions in our program, uh, which I've just drawn in the red boxes here. Uh, we've got form one, timer one tick, draw line, and form one load. It doesn't actually matter what order these go in. So we've still got to type in the timer, uh, the draw line function, and the internal contents of form one load. So we'll do the form one load now. Here is form one load, and the first line inside that is g dot clear color green, and the next two lines are like this. They start the timer, we set the timer interval, and we start the timer. And now we type inside the timer itself. And that's the timer, timer one complete. Um, okay, now you notice the draw line is in red because there's an error here. And it's because we haven't written the draw line function yet. So let's, let's create the draw line function. Private void. You don't need to know what these things do. Draw the line and the arguments and that's what we get. Now if we just run the program see if it works. Yep, it works. The engine speed is increasing. And the fuel should be cut off after 10 seconds. And the engine speed falls. That's, that's fine. 